Hi, I'm Sue Mazingo with WebSense Engineering. This short video answers a question that we frequently hear from customers. Thanks, Sue, and I'm Kay Zimmer with WebSense Engineering. In this video, you'll learn how to protect your organization's data against malicious attacks and theft. In today's world, malicious users and malware pose a real and ever-present threat to organizations. They can infiltrate your organization through the web or email. They can even infect your network when employees connect a laptop or USB device. WebSense solutions help you see and guard against the enemy in your blind spot. Our data security module can detect common extrusion patterns associated with data theft. It can scan for the type of data that is typically targeted by malware, such as encrypted files and passwords, and detect when something or someone tries to post this data to the web. To guard your data against theft, start by creating a Web Data Loss Prevention, or DLP, policy. On the Data Security tab of the Triton console, select Main Policy Management DLP Policies. You can create a robust custom policy or a quick policy. Let's create a quick policy that lets you control what data can and cannot be sent out of your organization via the web. To begin, click Web DLP Policy. Next, select the attributes to include in your policy and define properties for them. You can protect against very large posts, regulatory data, specific names and types of files, and files matching regular expression patterns. To protect your data from malicious users and malware, select Data Theft, then click Enable Attribute. Now you'll select the types of information that you want to protect. For example, select Common Password Information if you want data security to search for text that is commonly found in passwords encrypted files, known format, to search for outbound transactions comprising known encrypted file formats, such as password-protected Microsoft Word files. Encrypted files, unknown format, to search for outbound encrypted data of an unknown format, based on advanced pattern and statistical analysis of the data. Malicious content over time, to search for outbound activity considered to be potentially malicious, such as numerous posts in a designated period or numerous transactions containing encrypted data. Password files, to search for outbound password files, such as a SAM database. And questionable content, if you want data security to search for outbound electronic data containing suspicious content, such as data from credit card magnetic strips. Indicate how sensitive you'd like the detection for each type to be. Wide is highly sensitive and errs on the restrictive side. It is more likely to produce a false positive or unintended match than a false negative. A false negative is content that is not detected when it should be. Default balances the number of false positives and false negatives and is recommended for most customers. Note that default is the only choice for several of the attributes. For questionable content, you may also choose narrow. It is more likely to let content through than to produce an unintended match. Now scroll down and select a severity and action for the data theft attribute. If a policy is triggered on the data theft attribute, should it be considered a high severity or a medium or low severity? What action would you like to take? Should the content be blocked or permitted? By default, the severity of data theft incidents is high and the action is block. Finally, indicate if you want to notify anyone when data security detects potential data theft activity. You can email administrators, managers, security personnel, or anyone you choose when such suspicious activity occurs. Be sure to configure mail server settings if you want this. If desired, you can also blacklist specific websites by clicking the Destination tab. You can prevent sensitive data from being sent to all sites or specific known and suspected malware and data misuse sites. 
These include known botnets, key loggers, phishing and fraudulent sites, spyware sites, and the like. Once you've defined all the attributes of your web DLP policy, you can deploy it to all the relevant WebSense servers in your network. How else does data security help protect against data theft? It identifies which geographic locations are the most common data destinations for your organization and alerts you if data is being uploaded to a location that is unauthorized. It also lets you enforce which regions can and cannot receive your data. WebSense Web Security also provides advanced malware features that complement the data theft protection described in this video. We hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.